hey guys welcome to my channel so today i am so happy to be back with you all it's been a minute now so um yeah welcome back to my channel so happy new year to all of you yes your girl has been out yes i have a lot of explaining to do this is like a welcome video and you know back again into the 2020 so what I have done and what I'm thinking about doing so yeah so I am happy to be back with you all I have an amazing time with family and friends I am back here in the US so yeah so welcome to this you know video of mine welcoming me back to my channel basically so Alright guys, so if, if some of you have not noticed, I have been back from Africa. I took a, um, a family vacation to Africa to visit my family. So if you have following the vlog, you should have known while I went there. But if you haven't, I lost my father and I lost my grandma. So I went to go visit my family and for a month and a couple days so I am back and I feel great and I'm happy that I went I am so so happy y'all yeah, just don't know. I'm so happy so I am back so yeah so before I left I have been posting hints videos you know for you guys to pick up but it looks like nobody here commented and said girl what are you trying to do you try to travel with this nobody did but I posted some, you know a couple of videos of traveling and stuff like that so more videos are coming but I just want to put this video into the other videos that I planning on posting that I am back and I mean yeah you guys can see the post I am back but I want to incorporate you know videos in and out there as I post my traveling videos while I was in Africa so yeah so today we're just gonna chit chat and I'm today is Sunday by the way so I'm not going nowhere I'm just relaxing as you can see you know I got my eyebrows done so but I'm not gonna do much we're just gonna be chit chatting just a self um makeup look and you know and just talk about life and positivity and just you know life in general so you know so I have my face all you know cleaned up and everything but I will just um use a use a wipe and just wipe my face back Yeah, so, um, my traveling, you know, like I said, I have a lot of videos coming up, starting from passport, this, traveling tickets, this, and how to pack your loads, your luggages, and this, and all of that stuff. I have a lot to talk about and video to post you guys, so... Yeah, so my journey has been great, y'all. Been great. I spent a lot of time with family and friends. You know, they took some of the void that I have in my mind. Even though they do come back, you know, as time goes on. But, you know, by seeing family and friends and they try to cheer you up to make sure, like, you know... Like you don't feel lonely and things like that. So that was great. Um, I have a fantastic um, time traveling. I had a great time traveling. No, I have nothing bad to say about um, um, yeah, the airlines that I travel with. They were fantastic. You know, on time. You know. Everything was on time. Everything was on point. I have nothing bad to say about um, United Airlines and um, Brussels Airlines. Um, I had a fantastic time. The meals were great. Um, 
um, the flight attendants were <laughs> excellent. I mean, like, I have nothing to complain about. Um, my, my, no, I have a couple of things to complain about, especially in Freetown. But airline wise, no, the food were great and everything was excellent. Yes, everything was excellent. Yes, excellent. So, yeah, so this is my moisturizer. I'm gonna put on a primer. Uh, I'm gonna spray my face a little bit and then I'll put on my primer so while that is drying I'm gonna put on my my primer I'm not gonna put a lot because I'm not going nowhere I just you know doing a welcome video I just want to look cute while I'm home basically so yeah, but, um, all my bags, like I said, all my bags were there, nothing was left, I had a great time, also, um, uh, at, at customs, you know, the only thing, it was, you know, one custom officer that was checking, like, a whole entire plane, which kind of annoyed me. A little bit but as time goes on people were complaining a second officer came to help but other than that I have nothing to complain about you know so yeah but one of the issue that I have in Freetown was um, the changing of dollars you know um, you know some of the dollars they don't accept if they do accept it, they will literally change it lower than the hundreds, like the, the newer hundred dollars um, bills. They will actually change it, you know, regular price. And then if the dollars are a little bit older, they will change it less than what it actually worth in the U.S. So I was kind of annoyed by that because I feel like if the U.S. where the dollars was made and it came from... They don't have an issue with it. Why are you guys having an issue with it? That was one of my annoying uh, moments as well with them. It was kind of, you know, some people don't know it. Like, I didn't know it until when I went there. So sometimes I have to settle down with, um, I have to settle down with the lower fees of changing dollars because of, um, because of what I, um, yeah, because of what I took, um, back there to change. I guess some of them I didn't have problem with it because there were a few, there were newer dollars and some of them were not too old, old, you know, but, you know, certain amount of, or uh, I think 19, 19 something I'm not sure what year starting what year they don't take or if they do take it they change the dollars lower than what it actually worth in the US so that was annoying so I'm using my dream um, liquid mousse in the color 130 yeah this is old I did a video about this before okay so I have a video coming up on these nails. Yes, on these nails. I did them in Africa and they were four dollars and twenty five cents and I did my feet up so I have video coming up on those so don't worry. So so yeah, those were my um kinda annoying time while I was there when it comes to changing the um I love this foundation. Even if you put a little bit, it can go all the way. All the way. I'm going to buy this foundation again. Because I literally took it back home. And I didn't bring it back, y'all. I did not bring none of my makeup back. I wasn't having... I, I didn't plan on bringing anything back anyway. So, But literally, that was the foundation I was using. But everything was taken from me. And I'm happy they took it. But I had an uh, amazing time. 
So, yeah. So, I was staying with my brother, and then I was going back and forth to my mom and brother. So, you know, I had a fantastic time. I had my sister, um, meaning like my mom, younger sister, daughter. She was born before me a year so she's older than me a year so she was the one literally cooking for me and my mom so that those are the only two people that i trust that cooking for me when i go back home no one else i do not drink besides my little brother but anyone else i do not trust do you hear me i do not trust them to cook for me besides those two people yes those two people so I had a fantastic time. They treated me like I wasn't even stranger. Like I just fit in back after so many years. I just fit in back where I came from. What I was missing all these years, like family, like my family, I was missing. It just like I just went in just like that. Like I would, I would like I wasn't even gone for so many years. But you know. Oh, I, it was it was just priceless moment, yo. So I just fit in, fantastic with everyone. So it was it was great seeing everyone, you know, everyone coming and crying, having a great time and stuff. So yeah, it was it was good that I go and just be with the family for that long and I'm happy I spend that much time you know with them I'm very very happy so yeah so my traveling experience and things like that like I said it wasn't bad but the only one that I have a problem with it was the money changing even when I went um, when I went to the airport, when I was coming back, I knew they wasn't going to take the money, but I tried, but I had Leon's with me. I had the Leon's in my bag thinking that, but the Brussels, um, officer that checked my bag, the extra bag that I bought in, and I have to give that $30 extra and give me 20 and a 10, and he told me the bank that they cash the U.S. dollars at, they don't accept this 20 and this 10, yes. He literally gave it back to me, and I had to give him Leon's as the exchange, the equivalent to the $30 that he gave me back. But other than that, um, I had my boxes weighed at home. I had this weight um, thing. I think I already posted that already, or if not, a video is coming up on that one. I'm not so sure, but it's like the traveling um, weight bag thing, which is very, very convenient. I will you know urge you guys if you guys are traveling to literally take that with you that will save you so much time you know going back and forth and things like that so so I did that so but overall I have a fantastic time and a great great time with everyone great great time I want to see if I put the light on, if it will be brighter. Let's see. It's okay. So, I guess I'm not going anywhere anyway, so I'm just doing. But look at that foundation, y'all. Look at my face. So, but Africa, like when I went, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about bills or anything that worried me, but I was just focusing on family and being there in the atmosphere that, um, you know, that I've missed for so many years, you know, being among people in the surface, like, you know, being among, you know, different, different people that you're not even thinking 
like being among like you guys meet in the market shopping places and all of this restaurants I mean like it's just like if you really want to go rest and don't think about other things in your you know on your mind just go to Africa or any other places but I had a fantastic time the food yo know, every day don't get up on time I get up when I want to get up and then the food and everything else it was just on point but yeah I mean you can't beat it you cannot beat it at all like the fresh foods like it makes you go to the bathroom every day sometimes two three times a day and I was like wait a minute I'm not used to this like going to the bathroom two three days I mean two three times a day like what not those processed food that we eat over there but just the fresh food like my body was trying to get used to the fresh foods over there again I said oh my god I'm gonna miss this I'm gonna miss this like like I man it's it's crazy yeah it's crazy literally crazy like what we what we you know sacrifice for and you know and missing at the same time you know it's it's crazy but it's always the good and the bad you know coming to the US or go to any other um, you know country you're always gonna miss your your foods you know even though you get it from here it's not fresh it's you know it's process you know to get it here to do this and do all of that so it's it's a process so yeah but overall I am so happy that I went and yeah I am very very happy yeah whatever was on my heart it was so heavy it kinda like lifted you know down a little bit but even though I'm kinda sad inside a little bit but not as much as I was before I left but yeah overall I am grateful, I am thankful for the, you know, for the motherland. I mean, at least I have a second home to go to and just relax and try to get things out of your, you know, mind sometimes because we all need that sometimes, you know, get away with whatever is bothering you and just relax. You know, some people don't know when to take time off for themselves, even though your body really tells you, like, you know, it is time for you to take a break, but sometimes, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, until, you know, you hit the nail right there, but like, damn, yeah, keep telling you, like, calm down, you know, but overall, my experience, it's, I won't trade it for anything else, so, yeah, especially when it comes to family, I won't trade it for anything else, yeah, I will give up anything just for family, yeah, so, yeah, so watch out for those videos that will be coming, you know, up on my experience, my travel vlog and everything else. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think and... And what you guys want to see this year as well. So this year I'm going to be incorporating a lot of things. You know, you guys already know. I incorporated a lot of things already. But, you know, bring new things into my channel as well. So, you know, let me know what you want to see. If it's something that I can do, I will tell you something that I'm not familiar with. I will tell you... I'm not familiar with this, day. I don't know how it is, but I will let you know. But don't just watch my channel and don't comment and stuff like that and so on and so forth. But, you know, if you come here, I'm pretty sure you learn one or two things from here, here and there. So, you know, so don't just, you know, stay on my channel. I do see who's on here, 
Yeah, I do see. I know who is on here. So even when you are private, I do know who you are. So I'm pretty sure when you watch my channel, just try to comment. If you like it, like the video, fine, so you can get me more subscribers and things. But don't just come and, you know, watch my videos and don't participate. You must have liked something for you to come back or stay or whatsoever. You know, so just join the um, conversation and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, one of my, I think I had it on a video, one of my issue, my other issue that I had was sometimes when you take camera, you know, with you, people tend to not wanting to do what they normally do when the camera is around and what's on it. So, that was kind of, you know, annoying a little bit. So, yeah, but overall, I did a little bit of, I think, not a little bit, but enough, um, enough vlogging while I was there and things like that. So, yeah. And, yeah, I did great. I think I did great. So, yeah. I'm not doing no eyeshadow look. Okay, so I'm just going to um, take my setting powder and just I'm taking the same blush, a uh, brush that I blended my my concealer with to to dab. But let me know if you watch some of my vlogs already down. Um, tell me what you think so far. I see people watching it. So comment below and tell me. Some of you have been commented on my videos. I thank you for those. And yeah. yes so that's what I have been doing so let that sit there and um, let me just put my this is not going in order y'all put my lipstick on This year I want to do more tutorial on on makeup. Um, if you're down with that, let me know. Um, I know a lot of people were still struggling on how to do or what to apply and things like that. Let me know down below if you are one of those people. Let me know. Like I said, this channel we are learning, but since I already grasped um, the concept, and like I said, I'm not an MUA, I'm, I'm not a professional MUA, but I will show you the things that I have learned along the way from other people and pass it along. So that's what this channel is all about. But, you know, if you know anything as well, put it down in the comment section, and then we all will learn together. But I hate sometimes when people ready to comment, they comment in like, you know, you're supposed to know what I know. This channel is not about that. It's about learning your way to 
okay if I was a professional what's her name a lot of professionals don't give out too many details on how to do hands-on because that's money taken away from them so that's why we creating this um, channel for basically for us to learn you can still be beautiful do it your own self and still go out there and look glamorous so yeah Let me see if I can move my mirror this way. After this look, I'm going to be doing individual lashes. Um, on how I apply them very simple if you don't want too much going on on your eyes but just want it to look natural a tutorial will be coming up right after this one. That's that. So you guys, I also have a um, couple of, you know, here videos that I filmed um, back home while I was there and things like that. So I have all of those things coming up. But, you know, today, today, I think since I've been here, it's been 10 days. So today I decided, let me pick up this camera and just vlog a little bit because, you know, so the time is going yeah it's been 10 days yeah 10 days it's been 10 days yep It don't cost a thing to be beautiful while you're home, right? So why not just do it? Not just when you're going out all the time. You just you can still be home and still look cute for yourself and for your significant other. <laughs> so. I'm just going to take my um, press powder to go over my my lids that's all because I'm not doing any um, any foundation or anything I mean eyeshadow or anything like that so it's brown so it will kind of lock in any you know it won't show up basically So now I'm just going to put on my blush. This blush is so pigmented. You only need a little bit. Don't need much. Okay. 
So let me know what you would like to see, Dollar Tree, City Trends, um, Grocery Shopping, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, those kind of things. So, yeah. yeah. Let me know what you would like to see. Sometimes some people spray their face first. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, before you put on your highlight, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay? So it all depends on the person. I'm not even going to put on lashes or anything like that because I'm going to be home. Like I said, plus I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my lashes. So, yeah. So I'm not going to be doing none of that. So, but, yeah, so, basically, the eyeliner goes right here, back home, this is what we use, and I'm pretty sure a lot of us still using this, um, I can't find my liquid, um, eyeliners, so, I'm just gonna use this, a lot of people start up with this this is what I started off with and I'm still using it up to this time so yeah So, yeah. so that is basically Put on my earrings, big. <laughs> I had a couple of um, hearing videos coming up soon from um, um, Ross coming up, so watch out for that as well. But this is all I'm going to do. Like I said, this is just a welcome video. So this is it. So, you know, so as time goes on, I'll be talking about how I apply for my passport, how I, um, you know, got my tickets, how I pack my loads, and all of those things. So if you're interested in those things, let me know, because things, some things were not as great as it was but you know but overall it was you know time and patient especially in the US so yeah but this is all that I did so far but and this is my hair that I literally did got done while I was home You know, and
and this is what I I did while I was home. I didn't want the beads on there because I didn't think the beads will make it very, you know, adult-ish. So I took it out, but just left it like that. But this is my hair that I came in, you know. Oops. Yeah, so, but this is my... Yeah, so, how do you like it? So, I'm home looking all beautiful like I'm ready to go out, do not I? <laughs> so, that is it for this video, yeah, so, welcome me back, and yeah, I'm feeling great, and yes, yeah, I'm feeling beautiful, so, yeah. So let me know what you guys think down below and I will see you again on my next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.